Dalvin Cook is one of the strongest parts of the Vikings offense this year. Yeah, he's been the MVP many games, and he's a Pro Bowl performer. We sat down to talk some football and some about the man he lost that was his ultimate coach. Delvin, you've seen a special season before, and so far this year it's been a special season. I explain this. What, what's happening that you're winning games at the end instead of losing games and all that's come together as people start to think you might be a team of destiny? Yeah, it's just just that feeling is different. Like, you know, last year we finished last, and them to everything, and, you know, finishing games, in the halves, we was last in those categories, but... Putting an exclamation mark on it coming in this offseason was like just fixing the situation of things where we lost games at, and I think we did a great job of fixing it. And you've seen crunch times, you know, we lean on each other, man. We make plays and, you know, it help us win games, and, and that's how we've been pulling through this year. Kevin O'Connell comes in here and he's got his own culture, his own way of doing things, but how, how does that work and what does that mean when I say that to Delvin Cook? Kevin O'Connell did what for you in the offense? Ah, he's really just turning us loose. I think Kale will do a great job of you know, the communication part. Um, I think that's the number one thing in this, in, in this, in this business that we're in, you know, communicating and having that relationship with your players. Um, you know, we come to work and you know, we enjoy this thing. And you know, come Sunday, Kale just turn us loose and put us in predicaments where we could be explosive. And I think that's just the, the thing that Kale is good at, communicating with us and just turning us loose and letting us be us. That's what you've done, though. I mean, you, you know, you, you, I, I've never quite understood, Delvin, because you're one of the few running backs that I've seen that doesn't, uh, doesn't beg for 30 carries. Uh, in fact, you're happy to, uh, to take a break for Alexander Madison and all those things, uh, but you're productive. What, what's your mindset going in? Do you want X amount of touches a game, or don't you care? I really don't put a number on my touches. Um, just be explosive. Be explosive, be efficient, and be productive. I think all that is a collective of one. And that come with just having that mindset. I know, I know everything ain't, ain't going to go my way. I ain't going to get as much touch as I want. But when the opportunity comes, you know, how do I respond to it? And that's always been you know, my mindset. You know, if I get the ball 15 times, five or six of them got to be you know, the best of the best that I got. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to give everything I got every time I get the ball. So it's like you know, just having that mindset of like, you know, just want to get it done for the team. That's it. Have you have you ever seen anything or experienced anything close to the Buffalo game? Nothing like it, man. It just it, it was crazy, and everything about you know, us winning that game felt right. You know, us bringing that win back to Minnesota felt, felt right, and you know it's gonna be one of those games they talk about for a long time. Your brother on the other side, your family wearing both jerseys in the stands. <laughs> what did that mean to go head to head with your brother? It meant a lot, man. Like just just being a kid from Miami and. You know, coming to Minnesota and then my brother getting the opportunity of going to Georgia and, and getting drafted by Buffalo. And as soon as we heard, heard the schedules come out and seen it come out. <laughs> Here we go, it game on. on. It was on from there, like the trash talking, you know, the family setting everything up. You know, I was getting to the point on Sunday and playing and, you know, everything about the game was just great feels and I'm glad we got to win. Your old high school coach, Dwight Jackson, happened to be in town last week, and I know you got together with him, but he was honoring another great coach here, Larry McKenzie. And he was telling me about the impact that he, he had with you and you with him and your brother down in Miami. Who was he in your life? He did everything, man, just, just having that father figure. Um, you know, you need that extra push when you leave home. Everybody, you know, when you leave, when you leave the household, all decisions are on you, Coach Dwight. He just, he just made a lot of decisions easy for me. Um, just having that that person I can call, no matter what time of the night it is. You know, just decisions I had to make in my life as far as you know, getting to this point, you know, he helped me with a lot of them. Um, a lot of things I just didn't have to worry about because I had him in my corner. And just, just having a special person like that with just the leadership, you know, the push he put in us, you know, the, the grind he put in us. and. You know, the, the, willingness, the willingness to go out and just go get what we want every day, no matter the circumstances. I think a lot of that came from him just being there and just, just, just being around us. And just, man, it was, it was fun, man, coming out of Miami and, and having, having Coach Dwight there. And, you know, he put a lot in us.
he was also a funeral he is a funeral director yeah and he oversaw when your father passed away yeah. and he talked about you know he knew your father well i mean this was a family thing for him this wasn't mm -hmm. a professional thing and he said you you, you you gotta ask delvin about his dad because his dad was one special dude and yeah. it happened suddenly and it, it just shocked us all take me back what impact did he have on you and, and how hard was that yeah I, going back to my dad man my dad was like my superhero like he was like everything to me you know, you know he didn't have all the flashy things in the world but you know just mentally you know i think we had a different connection and you know he meant it all to me you know, i just wanted him to see me and you know me and my brothers you know shine like how we you know shine on sunday and you know he didn't get opportunity so you know that's why we we we, we share a lot of you know moments and 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 go through it with our family because you know you only get you know one family member and my dad meant a lot to me so that's why i put back on over four yeah you know to, to show him you know, this season for you and i think that's why we we having a special year man my dad looking over and you know he's making sure we are right. how proud was he of you and your brother he was proud man you know every time he got a chance you know he'll shoot me a text message or every time i got around him he'll just tell me you know i probably was mm -hmm. you know just coming from where we come from and you know just just getting to this point you know it was a lot of sacrifices and you know we here and he used to tell me all the time you know i'm proud of you just keep going and that's why i always just keep my head down man because it's a lot it's still out there for me i just got to keep my head down and go get it kirk cousins and you have been together throughout this thing and you guys have seen a lot. Yeah. You know, you two kind of been, you've seen it all, right? Since yeah. he got here and you got here, all those things. Who is Kirk Cousins to Delvin Cook? And, and explain your relationship because it seems like it's unique. Yeah, it's definitely uni unique. You know, that running back and quarterback, you no know, connection is kind of different. I'm, I'm next to Kurt every play. I'm, I'm right by him every play. So it's like having that understanding, having that communication of, you know, how Kirk communicates, you know, how he does, how he do things, you know, uh, how he, how he, how, how he feel, you know, sometimes on games, they just get him going, making sure he all right, checking in on him. And I think over the years it has grown. You know, you have seen Kirk's personality, you know, come outside of his shell. Which you knew we're seeing, huh? Yeah, I've been new, man. I, 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 I done been around Kirk for, for quite some time now, so I done seen and then and heard some things, man. And, you know, just, just letting the world see him now, man. Because he's good. kind of funny, too, isn't he? He is funny. He got the he got the dad jokes that that come out every now and then, and and, and it's funny. Like he just him. And, and and one thing about Kirk, like he don't he don't be try to be nobody else, man. He's just Kirk Cousins, man. And I think that's what separates him from the most, just being him. And that's all we need here at, at Minnesota.